Johnny, over the years we've seen the ways in which the settlement of equities has changed. Can you give us an update on what's happening to the world's biggest stock market as this, as this whole process becomes digitised? Well, if we take a step back up until uh, 1973, the US stock markets had to shut on a Wednesday. Um, they also had um, just a, a narrow trading um, range in terms of they were only open for a certain number of hours during the um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, because stockbrokers literally had to wander around with armfuls of checks and certificates in order that they could tally up the trading between them. And because this huge amount of paperwork, they had led to lots of mistakes and potential fraud, um, as brokers literally swam through a sort of a sea of paperwork. So to help solve this problem, um, all the paper certificates were actually held in one location and an electronic record was kept so that they could check the change of ownership. And this led to the establishment of something called the Depository Trust Company in 1973. And broadly, the process hasn't changed, but the demand and the volume of transactions has risen massively. So in 2019, the um, Depository Trust Company, um, as it's now, or the DTC is it's now called, um, processed something in the order of 2.15 quadrillion, quadrillion worth of security transactions. So what they've actually done is the DCC have actually set up two projects um, to actually see if they can improve the efficiency and security of the way it handles transactions. Project ION and Project Whitney. Now Project ION is focused really on the clearing and settlement and whether blockchain technology and digital assets can actually result in faster settlement and reduce costs, but more importantly, improve the compliance culture and reduce the risks. Meanwhile, Project Whitney is looking to cater to increase the number of firms that are effectively staying private and not doing an IPO and seeing can they bring some of the efficiencies of the public market to the private market. So DTCC has been exploring all of this for a couple of years, um, how to use blockchain technology in the settlement um, of credit derivatives, which is a $12 trillion market. And it's due to launch its new trade information warehouse at the end of 2019, but now they're saying that it will probably come through in 2021. So if the DTC initiatives do proceed, it'll enable central bank digital currencies to be handled, as well as stable coins, enabling DTCC to have a role in fund administration, transfer agency and issuing services such as proxy voting. And that'll mean that blockchain technology will be very much at the core of the infrastructure of how equity markets function going forward.